blood, plant cell, and animal cell. How about the carabao? Can you identify which of them can be seen with our naked eye or with the aid of microscope? Hello my dear students, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is me once again, Teacher Teen, your science teacher for today's vlog. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Science 7. Welcome to another vlog. For today's lesson, we are going to discuss quarter 2, week 1, module 1 of our Science 7. And for today's topic, we are going to discuss the parts and functions of a microscope. There are many living things around us. And we know that living things vary in terms of their physical characteristics o kaya sa mga habitat nila sa tirahan or the way they reproduce. Kung titingin tayo sa ating mga paligid, may mga living things na napakalalaki at meron din naman na maliliit at meron ding sobrang liit na hindi natin kayang tingnan gamit lamang ang ating mga mata. Yes, we cannot see those little things, little objects by just using our naked eyes. And those very small objects, to be able to learn and understand their nature and characteristics, we need to use a special instrument just like the microscope. And that will be our topic for today. Ano nga ba ang microscope? Anong meron dito? So when we say microscope, it is a very important investigative tool used for studying objects and organisms around us. Yung mga tinatawag nating microorganisms, napakaliliit niyan kagaya ng mga bacteria na hindi talaga natin kayang tingnan gamit lang ang ating mga mata. Kinakailangan natin ng mga special devices and instruments para makita natin yung kaliit-liitang parte ng mga objects na to. And of course, knowing its parts as well as the appropriate ways of using and maintaining it will make you feel excited, efficient, and meaningful. So take a look at this lesson vlog para mas lalo pa nating maintindihan ano ba ang mga parts na isang microscope. Ang isang microscope, ito ay isang importante gamit, important tool sa pag-aaral ng mga living organisms. At ang isang microscope, meron siyang iba't ibang lens at saka combination ng lenses para makapag-produce to ng highly magnified and enlarged images of small objects or specimens. Compound microscope is the most common type of microscope. The word compound is used where in order to magnify an image, a path of light from the source will pass through a path with series of lenses where each lens enlarges the image form by the previous lens. Kaya naman, sa ganitong proseso, kayang palakihin ng microscope ang mga maliliit na object. Parts of the microscope can be divided into three parts magnifying, illuminating, and mechanical parts. Sa magnifying parts, ito yung ang kasama dito ay mga objective lenses at yung eyepiece. Yung eyepiece, makikita natin yun dito sa ibabaw. So, tanggalin lang natin to and then, ito yung tinatawag na eyepiece. So, dito tayo sisilip kapag may titingnan tayo na specimen. So, lagyan natin to dyan. And then, yung tinatawag na mga objective lenses, ito po yun. Yan, yung pwede yung siyang pang times 10 o kaya ay times 100. Ayan, ito yung mga objective lenses. Dito sa eyepiece, dito tayo tumitingin. Ano? So, the eyepiece allows you to look through and observe the enlarged image of the object. While dito naman sa ating mga objective lenses, ito yung nagmamagnify naman ng mga images. Yung ikalawang part, meron naman tayong illuminating part. Sa illuminating part, ito naman yung nagpo-provide at nagmamanage ng light source para mas makita natin ng mas malinaw at maliwanag yung image na tinitingnan natin. So, ano ba ang kabilang sa parts ng illuminating? So, we have the diaphragm and of course the mirror. Nasaan yung diaphragm dito? 
So, yung diaphragm, makikita natin siya dito. Ayan. Itong nasa ilalim. And of course, yung mirror, obviously, ito naman yung ating mirror. Ayan. Pwede ka pang manalaman. Hi! Oh, diba? Makita natin yung self natin doon. Ayan. Ito yung mirror. Okay, syempre yung diaphragm, ito na nga nasa ilalim, ito yung nagko-control ng passing ng light doon sa opening ng stage. Kasi ito yung pinaka-stage natin eh. So, yan yung nagko-control dito. Ano, eh syempre yung mirror naman, ito yung tinatawag din na mirror or tinatawag din itong electric lamp or tinatawag din naman ito na light bulb. Para saan ang mirror? Ito naman ang nagko-provide ng ilaw, syempre, on the object and help focuses. It. Kaya dapat pag magtitingin tayo gamit ang microscope, dapat meron tayong light source. Okay? Yeah. And the third part of our microscope is the mechanical parts. Siyempre yung mechanical parts, ito naman yung nagpo-provide ng support, tsaka ng protection sa iba't ibang parte pa ng ating microscope. Ano naman ang makikita natin sa mechanical parts? Andiyan ang ating coarse adjustment knob, fine adjustment knob, stage Okay, the stage clip. We also have the arm and base, revolving nose piece, and of course, the body tube. So, isa-isahin natin yan. Okay, unahin natin si course adjustment knob. Saan ba makikita si course adjustment knob? So, ito siya. Meron tayong dalawang knob dito. Si course adjustment knob and si fine adjustment knob. Ano yung purpose ni course adjustment knob? Si course adjustment knob, siya yung gumagalaw. So, pag, pag trinay natin i-move to, yan. So, ito yung nag-move ng tube and the objective lenses closer or farther away from the stage. So, para magpapansin nyo, ayan, teka, ayan. So, let's say, for example, dito nakatapan, ito yung gagamitin nating objective lens. So, pag minu-move natin yan, pwede siyang tumaas or bumaba, depende sa lapit niya, dun sa ino-observe nating specimen. So, however, ito naman ating fine adjustment knob, minumove din nito naman yung kanyang stages up and down. Siya naman yung taga-focus. Di ba minsan kapag nag uh, titik tayo ng picture, parang medyo malabo. So, di ba meron pa tayong kiniklik para lang siya mag-focus. So, sa microscope, itong si fine adjustment, siya yung taga-focus. Ano? So, it brings the stage up and down and brings the image of the object into focus producing a clearer and more detailed view of the specimen or object. O, oh, diba? Ang galing! And aside from that, nandyan din ang ating stage and stage clip. Okay, ayan. So, obviously, ito yung ating pinaka-stage and ito naman yung ating stage clip. So, ang purpose ng dalawang yan, eh, syempre, sila yung nag-hold at nag, sila yung nag-hold at nagsusupport dun sa ating slide. And syempre, meron din tayong tinatawag na arm at saka ang base. So, yung arm, ito yung hinahawakan ko kanina pa. So, dyan natin i-hold lagi at hahawakan natin sa base kapag tayo ay hahawak ng microscope. Yan, ganyan yung tamang paghawak ng microscope. So, again, ito yung ating arm at extended yan papunta dito sa ating base. Ano po? So, the arm supports the tube and connects it to the base nito. Okay. And aside from that, meron din tayong tinatawag na revolving nose piece. Ito yung nose piece naman na tinatawag. Ano? Revolving kasi naiikot yan. Ayan, teka lang. Ayan. Kasi, so let's say for example, ito, di ba tatlo yung, ay apat yung ating dito, objective lenses. So, depende sa kung anong gagamitin mo kapag uh, titingin ka na ng, ob ng object dito sa microscope. So, revolving nose piece. Okay? At ang revolving nose piece natin, it allows uh, proper position of the object lenses. And of course, meron din tayong body tube. At din dito yung body tube. Okay, ito naman ang body tube. Ayan, kitang-kita naman. Tube talaga siya. The body tube holds the nose piece and the revolving nose piece in place. So, body tube natin. Ano? Okay, ulitin natin. So, ating, ano mga parts ng ating microscope? So, we have the eyepiece. Okay, we have the... Ano tawag dito? Okay, the body tube. We have this revolving nose piece. Ano ang tawag natin dito? It's the coarse adjustment knob. This one, yon, the fine adjustment knob. 
Ano pa? Ang tawag natin dito? Okay, this is the stage. This one. Okay, yan ang ating stage clip. And we also have the, yan, the mirror. And anong tawag dito? Okay, yung diaphragm. And this one, ito ang base. At ito naman, ang ating arm. Okay, yan, very good. Of course, aside from knowing the essential parts of the microscope and its functions, napakahalaga rin na malaman natin yung uh, practice kung paano ba gamitin to ng maayos para syempre mag-function din naman to ng maayos. So you should always follow the guidelines on how to maintain the good working condition of the microscope. If you are given the opportunity to use it, handle it properly and clean its parts using appropriate materials and then of course, kailangan ibalik nyo ito sa tama yung pinaglalagyan, sa tamang casing at may tabi ulit ito ng maayos, syempre sa isang dry storage cabinet away from laboratory chemicals. So, itong ating microscope, meron siyang dadayan. Ito siya. Tada! Wow! Okay, so ito yung kanilang lagayan talaga siya. Ayan, pag binuksan natin yan, so ilalagay natin siya dito sa loob. Tapos, meron pa siyang, meron pa tayong ilalagay dito na ano eh, na tornilyo para talagang yung microscope ay hindi nagagalaw. At meron pa pala akong hindi na ipakita sa inyo. Yung glass slide natin kung saan natin nilalagay yung mga specimen. Yan. So, meron tayo sa laboratory natin na iba't ibang klase ng uh, specimen. Ayan. Ito yung glass slide. Ayan. Papakita ko sa inyo. Ayan. Ang dami niyan. 25 pieces yan. So, ito yung glass slide na dito natin i... Ayan. Ito yung glass slide. Dito natin ilalagay yung mga experiment. Experiment. Dito natin ilalagay yung ating mga specimen na titingnan natin. Kagaya nito, it's a human stomach villi. So, ayan. Nakikita niyo yan. Ayan. Nandiyan sa bilog na to. So, yun yung ilalagay natin dito. So, ipi-place natin dyan. Gamit ang clip, um, stage clip. Ayan. Para makita natin to. So, ikatry natin siya later. Ayan. So, sana na natatry na rin ka sa school. Kapag face-to-face na tayo. Ayan. Ang dami, diba? So, tingnan pa natin ang isa. Ayan. Meron din tayo yung glena. Also, this one, wing of high house fly, 25 to eh. So, yan yung ating glass slide. Now, for your learning task number one, napakadali naman ang inyong gagawin. For learning task number one, this is a letter maze. So, you're just going to look for six parts of the microscope hidden on the letter maze. So, yan. Parang word hunt lang gagawin nyo dyan. And for number 2, learning test number 2, so nakikita niya yan. So meron kayo dyan 3 columns. We have the magnifying, the illuminating, and the mechanical. So yung mga nakalagay lang dyan na parts ng microscope, kailangan niya siyang i-classify kung siya ba ay magnifying, illuminating, or mechanical. At kanina naman, di ba, na-discuss na natin ano yung mga parts na kabilang sa illuminating, mechanical, at sa magnifying. So kayang-kaya niya yan. And for learning task number 3, study the part of the microscope listed in the box below. So, pipili lang kayo ng dun sa choices sa box. Meron dyang identification. Ano yung tinutukoy sa number 1? So, pili lang kayo sa box. And for na learning task number 4, so, basahin nyo lang yung mga situations. Kailangan nyo lang din i-identify ano daw yung parts at saka yung functions ng microscope na tinutukoy dun sa situation na nandito sa mention sa situation 1, 2, 3, Okay, so, and, ayan, yun yung gagawin nyo. This is the end of our lesson vlog for this week. So, I hope you learned something from this vlog. For our next topic, we're going to discuss the compound microscope and you will learn the some uh, appropriate techniques on how to use the compound microscope. So, I hope you still turn on this channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Science 7.